As many of you know, kids across the country are getting less than 30 minutes of activity a day. In Baltimore, we want to make sure that we provide opportunities for young people to get moving each and every day, to provide them with quality recreational opportunities and a friendly and competitive sports environment for our young people. Did you hear that, Councilman? Scott, friendly and competitive. He knows what I'm talking about. He sometimes is a little bit more competitive than friendly. We understand that providing our young people with constructive activities is not only good for them, but it's good for our city. Our goal is to offer affordable year-round leisure and recreational uh, activities for our residents. And I know that you would agree when I say that our children deserve healthy environments to exercise and also healthy environments to develop life skills. So you can understand why I am so pleased to stand with Recreation and Parks today my, and with my Director of Recreation and Parks, Mr. Ernest Burkeen, to bring another great program to town for our young people. Today, we are announcing the creation of Be More Night Hoops Basketball League. Starting today, teams ages 15 to 17, or young people ages 15 to 17, and 18 to 21 can register, the teams of the, the young people can register to participate in a nine-week nighttime basketball league. So that's young people. 15 to 17 is one uh, age group and 18 to 21 is another group. Games will take place take place at Maritime Industries Academy and Frederick Douglass High School with Eastside versus Westside Championship at Poly Western High School or Western Poly High School as I like to call. In addition, in addition to having a healthy and Oh, in addition to having fun and healthy competitive basketball league, this program is also going to do something else. It's going to provide opportunity to instill life skills for our young people. Teams will receive mentoring and learn about educational opportunities, employment development, and financial literacy. It is so important that we put our young people in the best possible position to succeed in college, career, and in life. And this uh, basketball league is going to get us a chance to do that. To that end, we have focused on raising well-rounded children. We want to do everything that we can to keep them uh, moving, to open up the world and their eyes to, to uh, more possibilities, and to allow them to figure out who they are and what they want in life all while providing the foundation to do so. So I want to sincerely thank my director, Ernest Burkeen, and his team for their commitment to recreation in Baltimore. You can, re you can register for the leagues at any recreation center in the city and also learn about the other new programming and opportunities that we are offering throughout the city at our recreation centers. Again, thank you so very much for supporting our children. And now I am going to bring up uh, for remarks, I believe Mr. Rashawn Brave, who is going to talk about this opportunity. Did I mess it up or should I have brought, I'm good? All right, Mr. Brave. Thank you, Madam Mayor. And I want to definitely thank City Hall for how well they've been working with recreation and parks. We appreciate all the support you've been giving us throughout this process. I want to give special congratulations to Sharon Bowles to Tracy Eastev for being a big part of putting together this program. This program is, is a phenomenal program that introduces a couple of things that we want to address. One of the things is financial literacy. We want to teach uh, uh, our young inner city kids about financial literacy as, all, as well as the process of how to get to college, the NCAA rules and what's the standards in order to be able to compete at the higher levels. This is very important and we're going to do this through basketball, through something that they enjoy, something they're familiar with, and definitely strengthen and make sure they're educated on the educational piece in which we want them to have the tools and the skills in order to be able to be successful uh, young men. Uh, thank you, uh, Madam Mayor, and thank you, City of Baltimore. Thank you very much, and to speak on behalf of the council, I would like to ask Councilman Brandon Scott to come up. Good afternoon. Uh, thank you, Madam Mayor. It's always great to follow another Mervo Mustang alum. So, sir, thank you for 
leading the way is also a great win. We always outnumber everyone at press conference these days in Baltimore City. But uh, moving on from that, basketball, it's Baltimore is a basketball town. Young people, old people alike in the city of Baltimore, we live, eat, and breathe basketball. Basketball is our heart. That's where most of our athletes go on to succeed in. But basketball does more than just recreate our young people, it does more than just recreate our older people. It brings neighborhoods together, but it also teaches life. Young men and young women in the city of Baltimore learn life skills through basketball. And that's why I'm so excited about Be More Night Hoops, because we're bringing both of that together and bringing it back for something that means so much to so many people, to have these young people to be able to come out, play basketball, but also know how to turn that basketball into how to have their lives operate in the correct manner is something that's so, so, so needed in the city, and it's going to be a great thing. So I just want to thank the Recreation and Parks Department. Uh, Madam Mayor, thank you and your administration for bringing this back. And also, I want to thank the young people from Maritime Industries Academy and Vanguard Middle School for being here with us today. Thank you. Thank you very much, Councilman. Again, I want to thank Councilman Nick Mosby. I know uh, I'm looking forward to the east side, west side rivalry that's going to happen uh, in the basketball league. And again, I want to thank Director Burkeen and, and Bob Wall and everybody at, at Recreation and Parks. You know, we can have, uh, you know, we can want to do more, but if we don't have good people that can create the partnerships to develop these types of programs, that's all they are is ambitious without realization. So I'm very, very pleased with the work that we are, we continue to do. And I want to thank the students uh, for your patience and for being here to support this program. And I can't wait to come out and see the Be More Night Hoops games. Thank you very much. I'll open it up for questions. And if there aren't any questions, I'm going to, oh, 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 did you want to, I'm sorry, I'm opening up. You can be on the hot seat. You want to be on the hot? For, yeah, come on. You can take the questions. I'll let Councilman Mosby take the questions, and he can answer. He can um, give cl our closing remarks. Did you want to say? Come on up here, Councilman Mosby. I'm excited to uh, host uh, the Be More Hoops uh, in West Baltimore. I look forward for the, the challenge. Like my colleague Brandon Scott said, it's critically important that we tell our children that this is one Baltimore. And integrating you know, our east side neighborhoods to our west side neighborhoods um, is phenomenal. You know, Looking at the program, this takes me back to my youth participating in the Baltimore Neighborhood uh, Basketball League, BNBL, and the Mayor's Christmas Tournament. It was always exciting for me and my friends in my community and my neighborhood to battle folks all throughout the city. And and I know that now the children of Baltimore get the opportunity of doing that, children as well as young men. So I'm excited for this. This has absolutely nothing to do with Rex and Parks, the mayor, or me as city council, but everything to do with our children and our commitment to ensure that we protect their trajectory. So I'm excited with partnering with Rex and Parks and the administration and the mayor, and I thank them for their leadership and their foresight in ensuring that our children have opportunity over the summer to uh, participate in productive activities. Thank you, Councilor. Thanks again. Any questions? We're going to close up. Is this primarily a summer league? I think we're doing spring and summer, correct? Yeah, spring, spring and summer. And, I, and you're, I don't, are you outside of the age group? You can't. <laughs> just, just a little bit. <laughs> Wait, me, we'll, we'll, I'll work, I'll work, I'll work with Mr. Wall, and we'll get a, we'll get a seniors tournament together, and we can join, we can join together. <laughs> You're not over 30 yet, are you? 33. Oh, we'll get an over 30 league. We'll work on that. <laughs> Anybody else? You can't afford the live Billy on the over 30 league. All right, thank you all very much for coming out.